Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to create a heart logo in the style of the Insta logo in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm just going to come up here to create new. We'll come up here to web across the top, and then I'm just going to choose minimum right over here. And the reason I'm doing this is because the colors that I want to use are really bright and vibrant, and that really works well in an RGB color space. Okay, so let's make our heart. I'll hit L on my keyboard, and that'll bring me to the ellipse tool right over here. And then I'll just hold Shift and draw a perfect circle. Holding Shift constrains your proportions so that it's a perfect circle. I'll hit D on my keyboard to give me a white fill and a black outline. And then I'll hit V to get back on my selection tool. I'm going to click and start dragging my circle, and then I'll hold Shift and Option. Option will make a duplicate, and by the way, that's Alt on a PC, and Shift will keep it along the same plane. Okay, and now I'll do the same thing. I'll just hold Option and drag this one down here. Okay, so we have three circles, and you can kind of see how this might become a heart shape. So let's select these top two and group them with Command G, that's Control G on a PC. And then we'll select the top group and the bottom circle, and we will go to our Align tool, which is right up here. And I'm going to do Horizontal Align Center. If you do not have this bar up here, you can just go to Window Control, and it's right here. Okay, so we'll choose Align to Center, and now I'll come down here to Pathfinder. If you're missing some of these windows, including Pathfinder, you can find them under Window. So just come down here and Pathfinder is right here. Now I'm going to choose the first shape mode, which will combine them all. And now we're getting even closer to our heart shape. Now I'll hit P on my keyboard, which will bring me to the pen tool. I'm just going to click this node right here and it'll get rid of it and click that one too. Now I'll hit A on my keyboard and I'll click this dot up here, the node, and grab this handle and hold shift to just bring it straight down. And now you can see we've got a pretty nice one side of the heart. Instead of trying to make this side exactly the same, I'm just going to copy this side and paste. So I'll hit A to get my direct selection tool, which is right up here. I'll just draw a box around these pieces over here. I'm going to hit Command X, that's Control X on a PC and then Command F or Control F to paste in front. And now I'll just select this piece and delete it. All right, we've got one side of our heart, but now we need to reflect it over here to the other side. I've selected it with my selection tool. Then I'm gonna hit O on my keyboard to get to my reflect tool, which is right over here. And you'll be able to see a little anchor point but I want the anchor point to be here. And to do that, I need to hit Option or Alt on a PC, and I'll just click that point. Now we'll get the Reflect dialog box, and we want a vertical reflect, and we'll make a copy. Okay, this is looking very nice. So now I've got both pieces selected. It looks like they're joined, but they're actually not. They just meet right here in the center. So we need to join these. To do that, hit Command J on your keyboard or Control J on a PC, and then hit it again. So now the heart is just one shape. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to my fill and bring it to the front, and then I'll just choose any color so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so let's open the appearance palette. You can see our stroke and fill here. I'm going to increase that stroke by quite a lot. And then I'm going to offset it so it comes right down here into the heart. So we'll come up here to Effect, Path, and Offset Path. And let's offset it to about minus 30. And we'll preview that. Okay, that's not quite enough. I'm just holding shift and using my down arrows to get that number to uh, jump even further. Okay, so I've got it at negative 80, but this is kind of the look you'll want. So we'll say okay. Now let's change our stroke to white. And I went around it at the top, so let's go to stroke, and then we'll choose cap and corner to be the center ones. Okay, and this is looking really good. If you've seen the Insta logo, it looks kind of like this. Okay, let's get our appearance palette open again. 
Now I'm going to go out to Google so that I can find some of the same colors as the logo. And now I'll just type Instagram logo color palette. And this one looks pretty nice, so I'll just click on that. And then I'm going to screenshot this. To make a copy screenshot on a Mac, you can just hold Shift, Control, and Command, and the number four. You have to hold all of those at once. And then I'm just going to draw across here. Then we can come back to Illustrator and paste. If you're on a PC, I don't think that'll work for you. So just screenshot it in any way that you know how, and then place it in Illustrator. So let's click on our heart and I'm going to get here on the fill. And now I'm going to open the gradient window. So we'll come up here to window and go to gradient. Now I'm going to make sure that my fill is selected and then we'll get three options under gradient. And this third one, the freeform gradient is the one we want. So I'm going to click that and you will probably get a different result. Sometimes I get three or four of these little nodes on here, but this time I only have one. So I'm going to position this one right over here and I'm going to change the color by double clicking it. And then I'm going to grab my little eyedropper tool here and I'll choose purple for this. I'll deselect the eyedropper tool. And when I do that, my cursor will change. And this means I can add other points here. I'm going to add another one right down here. And I'll double click this and get my eyedropper tool. And I'm going to choose this pink color. Okay. And you can kind of see how it's starting to look like the Insta logo right now. I'll deselect the eyedropper again and add a node here, double click it, and we'll just change it to the orange color. I'll deselect that. Click here, double click that, get my eyedropper and choose yellow. I'm going to add one here and we'll make this one the orange. And now I'll deselect my eyedropper, come up here and I'll make this one the blue color. I'm going to click right in the middle and pull this one down so we get a little more blue going on. Now I can also come down here and make this wider so it takes up more of the space. I think I'm also going to do that with this orange one. Okay, I think I'll move my purple down a little bit. I'll make my yellow a bit bigger also. Oh yeah, that's looking really nice. And then I'll click right up here and we'll make this one purple. Now I feel like we need some pink up here, so I'll click right here and we'll make that pink. And you can see that it's not really affecting our white and that's because it's a stroke that's on top of the fill and we're working with the fill right now. I think we're finished and now I can just delete this color palette. And I think I want to change how this white outline looks. So I'm going to click on the heart um, and I'm going to come up here to object expand appearance. That'll separate the offset past stroke from the heart. So now we can kind of change how this looks. I'm going to use my direct selection tool to just click on this and maybe we'll just round this even more. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. Okay. And that's how to make a super cute Instagram esque heart with the freeform gradient tool in illustrator. All right. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.